In the beginning of the year, we usually do the wellness checks for the polar bears where we mobilize them and check their overall health. When we start a physical with the bears, we can't just have the vet come in and check them out. Uh, it's not like a dog or cat where you can take them in there in a crate and it's easy enough. With the big carnivores, we have to immobilize them. So we give them a medication that makes them go to sleep. After they've gone to sleep, we're able to safely go in and uh, get them into a position where we can check over their whole bodies, look in their mouths, look uh, in all the places that we can't normally see when they're just standing awake. When we're doing a wellness check on Sakari, we're just doing a real quick uh, check his body over, look in his mouth at his teeth, uh, do any sort of inoculations that he needs. With Luna, we do a little more intensive of a check with her and do a nice view of all the stuff that we did with Sakari as well, but then we also do a little extra attention and make sure that her reproductive health is well too. So for Luna's procedure, there is a group of researchers that came in from Peru, which is a research facility out of the Cincinnati Zoo. They did a much more in-depth and intensive re reproductive check with Luna. So they're actually able to use an endoscope to go into her uterus and visualize the health of her uterus, which was very healthy. And they're able to take biopsies as well, which they're gonna use for research purposes. While we haven't seen cubs from Luna yet, it does oftentimes take a couple years for any, even bears in breeding situations to have success. Both bears had a wonderful wellness check. They both were very, very healthy, uh, so we're able to put them back together and hope for a little more success this year.